Hello, this is Non Spring Chick the Bikini Czar, and yes, we would love to be out at the beach. It's gorgeous, it's sunny, however, the wind is still blowing. And I go, does that really make that much difference? Well, we'd love to be out there, but um, there's certain things we can compensate for. Sand blowing into the equipment uh, doesn't work so well. Nor, sometimes some of you had said, you heard gusts of wind coming into the mic, and so there's sound corrections and all those things come on. So we're crossing our fingers. At least it's sunny outside. But we're hoping we can return to the beach. But you know, there's brighter things ahead because... Oh, what was the brighter thing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow's another day. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's another day. We are hoping that they are wrong when they say that there's not going to be a summer because it... Well, yesterday was a great day. Yeah, but you didn't go to the beach yesterday in your best suit. I know. They wanted me to go in my best suit. Hmm. But I was on my Michael Jackson tour of Los Angeles. We go, what in the world? Yeah, a Michael Jackson tour of L.A. I went to all the different spots. Oh, Old Cam doesn't even know about this. <laughs> Does he? Okay, let's see. I went to Staples Center. Yep. Because today you can't go anywhere near there. Yesterday you could. Where else did I go? Let's see, Holmby, Holmby Hills, Jackson's residence. I went to his parents' residence. I dropped by the cemetery and went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And then, oh, Christian Adage, he's got this huge sign up by him because to commemorate him because they were friends. Because, actually, you know, I haven't confirmed that because I heard that he was moving into the mansion where he was. But here's the funny part is it's actually owned by the CEO of Ed Hardy, then makes you wonder. Hmm. I know, but there's lots of things going on. And actually, one of the things that I'm fascinated about over here in Southern California are the elephants. You're going, why would you be... <laughs> That's... Okay. No, the Bringing Brothers Barno and Betty Circus is in the same place as the uh, Jackson is going to be. I know. Well, you know, here's, here's a fascination, fascinating part. Because they're actually... They stop off in L.A., at 3.30 a.m. in Union City, they unload the element, elephants, they disembark, and the elephants are actually, I don't know where the Ringling Brothers, is it in, one's at Staples Center and it's the other, is at the Convention Center? I think or, it's, uh, I think it's going to be at the Staples Center, or too. Or is it at the Staples well, Center? Well, because they got to have a, a, a circular seating, so it's got to be at the Staples. Oh. So what happens is all the rivals start for, yes, the, well, Ringling Brothers and Barnum Circus, although many would argue that the other is actually the real circus. <laughs> <laughs> because the circus is, is like all these people, well, are trying to go there and actually stay away, stay away, stay away. Don't do what I did yesterday because the streets are blocked off. People can't get to work. Actually, that's a problem. Well, actually, she was... Well, actually, maybe that's a good excuse for people not to show up to work. Well, yeah, well, they can't get to work. Yeah. Not till tomorrow evening. But